So Merlin, can I like have some free elixirs or something? Of course not, why would I do that? Well, I mean, I have saved the kingdom from Maleficent quite a lot at this point. Um, I know I fail sometimes, but recently succeeding. And, um, you know, I'm gonna do it again in a couple days. No, you're not getting any elixirs for that. And thank you so much for joining me for another update of Disney Magia Kingdoms or Dylan Plays DMK, whatever you want to say. This is update number 193. I'm already not talking correctly, so it's a normal video. Let's jump right on into the kingdom because I think we're going to be welcoming a pretty exciting character today. So let's see. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So we are starting off with the mayor coming back into the kingdom here. Hi, the mayor. The mayor is now level five. How wonderfully horrible this is. I don't know, I like the music, the mayor. Mm. So of course, finding someone else to level up here as I am dancing to the music. And it will be the Sultan from the Aladdin collection going to a level eight. And we did get a gift of a legendary chest from Star Wars. I got a blue lightsaber stand, I believe. Oh. Oh, I've looked everywhere for Jack. Just everywhere. The lake bed, the pumpkin patch, the mausoleums. Uh-oh. Felt like the ground shook. Right behind you? Of course, Jack. I'm always looking right behind me. <laughs> Wait, Jack! That silly mare. In the flesh, well, figuratively speaking anyway. Now, I believe you had some concerns about my latest Halloween plans. Open for debate, side quest, send the mayor and Jack to clear things up. So I was gonna say, I think we had the legendary chest from Star Wars because the Windows players were getting the characters and stuff. Oh, I see what the confusion was. That rabbit on page 33 is a zombie rabbit from that haunted carrot patch by the swamp. That egg-shaped drawing next to it is just his brain. He likes to air it out every now and again. Oh my gosh, that's spooky. Oh, thank goodness. For a moment, I had the worst feeling that you were trying to copy another holiday. Ha <laughs> ha, not to worry, Mayor. I've learned my lesson. This Pumpkin King only has eyes for Halloween, figuratively speaking. <laughs> Quest complete, open for debate. Ha <laughs> ha, so do I, Jack. All four of them, in fact. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So some cute dialogue there, and the Sultan is ready to come back into the kingdom, and that's always exciting. Hi, the Sultan! Ooh, and the music is dying down. The Sultan is now level 8. How splendid! Yes, it is. Three gems, and the music is back. It is splendid, the Sultan. Thank you so much for helping me out there. And now we have the March Hare leveling up to level six. Of course, at this point, I was really focusing on leveling up. Whenever someone's done, I wanna put someone else in. Of course, it's the quest to get all of our characters to level 10 one day in Club 10. March Hare is now level six. Yes, yes, that's nice, that's nice, but I'm sure this would go better if we had some mustard. Well, I actually don't have any. I'll have to go buy some, but that does sound exciting. And Instagram, we love that. And some dialogue from the March Hare right after you put in the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> no room, no room, absolutely no room at all. There's much too much of a muchness out here to have a proper tea party. Why, there's another building everywhere you look. Which is why I've decided to look for room inside a building instead. I'm sure there won't be any buildings in there. No room, side quest. Send the March Hare into the White Rabbit's house. Is that shade towards me not being able to open more land yet? I'm trying. Disappointing, disappointing, very disappointing. Why, there was plenty of room in there until I sat down and ate a biscuit, and then there wasn't any room at all. Uh-oh. Quest complete. No room. What's room without biscuits, I ask you? Or to put it another way, what are biscuits without room? High five. I'm... That's a good question, bud. I don't know, but a biscuit does sound pretty good right now. And the Queen of Hearts, another member of the Alice in Wonderland Wonderland collection, is coming back into the kingdom. Queen of Hearts is now level 7. Rule 37, the Queen always wins. I don't think she's even British, but we're just going to go with it. 
Now you can say that, but we did see you miss that swing. I'm not trying to be mean, but just saying, just saying. And Stitch now leveling up here to a level seven, which is amazing. He has been taking me, him and Jumba, but I think I got Jumba pretty late in the game have been taking me a while to level up, but I'm glad to see they are leveling up here. Stitch is now level seven. Thank you so much, Stitch. Doing a one-handed handstand there. Thanks for the jumps, bud. You know we could always use them. And now Jumba, as I was just saying, is going to level seven as well. I'm so excited to see that. Love the Lilo and Stitch characters. I believe everyone else is either a 10. I think Pleakley is the only 10, but everyone else is ready to go besides Stitch and Jumba. Jumba is now level seven. I feel a new surge of inspiration coming on already. Well, that sounds great to me. A high five there for you, Jumba. High five? Okay, there we go. Thank you so much for being in the kingdom and being amazing. Now we are moving on to the Big Hero 6 collection. I didn't realize Baymax was only level five, so let's level him up. <laughs> I try to like time my speaking with the music, but obviously I don't do it right every time. Hi, Baymax. You're so cute. Baymax is now level six. Are you satisfied with your care? Did you all know that Big Hero 6 was a Marvel comic? Cause I did not know that until like yesterday and I'm mind blown. But yeah, wow, love that. Um, so, oh, I'm probably looking for somebody else to level up here. Looks like I'm a little stumped as to who I want to level up. But I'm sure we will find someone soon. Speaking of leveling up, if you can, make sure you are leveling up the characters that will be involved with the tower challenge. If you're not quite sure which ones they are, you can also go to the news section in your game. Um, and there's an article, I think, of the Mandalorian update, and it should say that. And here we have Penny leveling up. I love Penny. I had concerns that armor would undermine my non-threatening hug huggable design. I do not have these concerns any longer. That's good. With my armor equipped, I regularly, low battery of course, detect heightened ox oxytocin levels. This correlates a f to a feeling of awe and joyous amazement. It is a highly effective therapeutic technique and Pikmin Bloom, which a uh, video will be out tomorrow on that. No, Thursday, sorry, um, was there. Beginning armor therapy session now. Wouldn't hurt a fly side quest, send Baymax to initiate armor therapy. So yes, we will be doing a Pikmin Go recap Type video on Thursday if you're interested in that come on back to the channel and tomorrow we will be cooking with cooking mama in the app game that was really fun so make sure to check that out too and here we have Baymax in his armor he is so adorable love that costume uh oh and it sounds like we have a new character it is Boba Fett we did reach the last milestone we needed and Boba Fett is now in our kingdom. Thank you so much for coming, Boba Fett. You are amazing. And we did get 16 gems for completing the collection there because we did get Ahsoka, Fennec Shand, Ahsoka Tano, Fennec Shand, and now Boba Fett. So there he is. And he does have a mission here. Um, the only one I had at that point was the 60 minute mission for a kyber crystal and i do believe that eventually we put him on that and he kind of flies around which is amazing i really like that oh i think that's so cool i have made a friend my veterinary database is incomplete but i have identified it as a i don't know how to say that or orange orange sulfur butterfly this species subsists on nectar from brightly colored flowers this in indicates that it is drawn to my red armor um anecdotal data from honey lemon also indicates that it is super duper adorable quest complete wouldn't hurt a fly incorporating a butterfly therapy subroutine into my caregiving matrix now i obviously need to read a little bit faster so that's what i am trying to do i don't know if he was referencing a disney character because the only butterfly I can think of is Caterpillar, but he doesn't turn into a butterfly until, I don't know, Penny is now level seven, hooray! You know, in the movie, he turns into a butterfly eventually. I feel like I'm missing something. An orange butterfly. I don't know, maybe I'm looking into it too much. But speaking of looking into things, we are currently looking into the storybook to see who is gonna be next to level up. And it is going to be a Haunted Mansion character. Of course, these characters are very fresh and new in my kingdom. And Gus right here is gonna go to a level two, so it's not gonna take us too long. Let's level up. <laughs> oh yeah, the beat did not drop how I thought it was going to. Whew. Hi Gus. 
<clears throat> Gus is now level two. Well, I'll be. All right, well, I hope you're having a good time in the kingdom. Tell the bride to come. Don't really know why I enjoy hitchhiking the way I do. Maybe making getaways is in my blood or a uh, ectoplasm, I guess. <laughs> I ain't committed no crimes, understand, but that didn't stop the law coming after me whilst I was living. I'm sorry. So in case some sheriff kicks the bucket and decides I need apprehending, I'll have a lot of practice skipping town. <laughs> Valmu side quest, send Gus to practice his getaway. So we of course are gonna put him on that quest there for four hours and this is him on that. So yes, invite your other ghostly friends to our kingdom please when we try to open chests next year. Thank you so much. And now the hat box goes going to level two as well. So we will see if he has any dialogue here. I don't think he's much of a talker though from what I remember. Hit the beat now. Oh yeah, Hatbox Ghost. Oh yeah. Hatbox Ghost is now level two. Yeah, he doesn't really say anything. It just makes sounds, I guess. <laughs> huh? Getting ahead, side quest. Send the Hatbox Ghost to show off his wares, I think it said. I thought his head was gonna disappear, but I think he just shakes his little container and then floats away. I don't know. But here we have Bailey from the Finding Nemo collection leveling up. Just Bailey and Destiny waiting to get to level 10 for Finding Nemo. I have everyone else there. Just what in the world? All that time with my thumb out and not one mortal's kind enough to pick up a perfectly respectable escaped prisoner. They might be a little spooked. Quest complete. Vamoose. Is the ball and chain too dingy or uh, dingy looking? Cause it was like that when I got it. I'm sorry, Gus. I think that everyone just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> eh. Quest complete. Getting ahead. <laughs> but of course he does have his hat or his head in the hat box when he is, um, you know, on that little screen there when you finish some dialogue. So that's really cool. And now Bailey coming back into the kingdom. Hello, Bailey. Hi. Bailey is now level six. Who wants to learn about echolocation? Anyone? Anyone? I will learn about it. Absolutely. Thank you for the two gems. Autumn treats bundle there in case you wanted to buy it. I don't know if it's still in there. Probably isn't, but I, I should have bought that. I don't have that ice cream stand. Why didn't I buy that? Oh, I'm kicking myself now. But Lewis right here from Princess and the Frog. I'm really excited to say that he is going to level nine. So he will be ready to um, join Club 10 soon. Phew. Don't get me wrong. I love this reef, nice views, good neighbors. Basically all of my friends live here. I'm sorry I'm missing some of the dialogue because I'm speaking too much and talking too much. But my tank at the Marine Life Institute was a lot colder and so comfortable. I think that might be my optimal temperature. There's a way I can find out for sure, but I'm not convinced I'm gonna like it. Chill out, side quest, send Bailey to try traveling on Crush's coaster. That sounds like it will be a fun adventure for Bailey there, so I hope that he has a good time. And we are going to open an attraction enchantment chest here, but unfortunately we did not get a new attraction. Ugh. Okay, note to self, migrating to the Arctic? Still possibly a good idea. Listening to Crush's directions about what current to take to get there? Worst idea ever. Oh no. Poor Bailey. Quest complete. Chill out. I'm gonna be nauseous for a week. I hope you're gonna be okay, Bailey. And Lewis is back into the kingdom here. Hello, Lewis. <laughs> He's so cute. Lewis is now level nine. Hallelujah. Yay! Three gems there. High five. Okay, there we go. Awesome, 42 gems. I'm sure we're gonna need them for something down the line. And now Mama Odie leveling up here for four hours to go to a level seven, I believe that said. That's pretty amazing. Hi, Mama Odie. Maybe, maybe it's not seven, maybe it's six. We'll see in one second. Oh, I love her. Oh, it is seven. I love her welcome screen. Mama Odie's now level seven. Ooh, I like your spunk. Well, thank you so much, Mama Odie, and thank you for the gems. 51 gems. There were always hashtag gem hungry. And now Dr. Facilier, another member of the Princess and the Frog collection, is leveling up, I believe, to a level nine, which is amazing. Oh, he's dancing to the music. Oh, yeah. I love his welcome screen as well. Dr. Facilier is now level nine. Now we're cooking. Ooh, 
Sorry, now we're cooking is what I meant to say, but my voice kind of gave out there. And now for the last level up of this update, we are going to level up none other than Han Solo to a level 9. So that is very exciting. And that is actually the end of this update, update number 193. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and leave me any comments because I love to read them. If you want to join the Disney Magic Kingdom family, please hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!